you pick up a piece of paper that is roughly shredded. It looks like knives were tested on it. It's has this almost shoddy looking handwriting. It's done in what looks to be charcoal from a forge. Very sooty, very dark, and you roughly make out an apology. The apology simply for what you can read sounds of shriek, sorry, didn't mean to feel bad. The rest of it is very hard to read. Do I ask? Ask what? <clears throat> Why there's a bathhouse worker in my house. She was here last night, remember? I retired early. Oh, the guards beat her. And this was one of the few safe places. Why do they beat her? Supposedly, they were after me. What did you do? I don't know. All I know is that the guards did this. Did you catch Why any names? Why, for what reason? Ah, yes. It was the three that did it last time. But after the name of the leader of the group. I don't know their names, though. <clears throat> Easy. You had, a, you had a rough night. Easy. Easy. Yeah. How are you feeling? Nervous. I'm hurt. I'm here. They do. Those two are the same ones again. One was new. We know. Oh. We know. Morning. Um, I, I've wanted to say for the past couple of days, thank you again for covering up my brand. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Whenever I passed, you were always in conversation, so I didn't want to interrupt. I'm sorry this happened to you. Okay. You used me as a message again. That's because they're cowards. They'll get what's coming to them. Mm -hmm. They beat Except me for to stay strong for a little talking bit. to the guard trying to get names. Good morning, everyone. Morning. How are you doing, buddy? I'm here. Tazim, as you step out the door, you feel beneath your foot <clears throat> something <throat> hairy as you go tumbling down the stairs. 
from tripping over this dog. <sighs> what a wonderful mob. <laughs> It seems unfazed. <laughs> oh, come here, you. Are you okay? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> How are you today? Did you sleep okay? You didn't get any more cat fights? Yeah, good. <sighs> Have you eaten? Do you need food? Are you hungry? How's your belly feel? Nice and full? <sighs> Let me see if there's any scraps from the air. Uh... Ow, my fucking cable! <laughs> Come on. Cheese and salam. Best cheese and salam on notice. Best price. Best price. I would like a salam for my friend here, please. You want salam? You have salam. Fifteen copper. There you go, Pepe. You want come often for salam for dog? That would be. You pay less. I get you worse salam. Ready, catch. Ready, catch. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, let's let's do that. I'll stop by every morning and uh, get some stuff. <clears throat> okay, okay. Morning, hello, poppers. Hello. Here for the morning jog. <clears throat> oh, hi, poppers. When you're done, you come back. You buy salams. You buy cheese. Are you going to sponsor us? <laughs> you can buy. I don't know what sponsor means. Can we get it means you support us and we support, and we support your business. You come by Salam, you get Salam. <laughs> okay. All right.
this one. You had my blue cheese. You bought ten I... units of it. Oh, did you forget? Yes. No, I did not. It's been stolen from me. Unfortunately. Mine is stolen from you. By the guard. By the guard. Ugh, fuck. Come by, cheese and salam, best cheese and salam, all not this. Like, you put mushrooms on there, I haven't tried that before, I didn't know what that would be like. Mm. Alright, I'd like some mushrooms on my pizza, please. Mm. Good morning. I like the Grotian style salam with the, with the pepper. I'm just treating you. And, uh, actually, Up and down. If you could, Shall we take a walk? Enjoy the fields this time of the morning. I need to get away from the docks. Fishing yeah, is not I do. Can you go get me some wild shrooms, please? I'll pay for them. Alright. Uh, how many do you want? Not the small fish, nothing major. Yeah, I bet. Things must be really going bad if they're that desperate. I thought that was just funny. <laughs> they do enjoy humor. Look at the old slaver's cove. <laughs> the old slaver's cove. <laughs> Headache first. The headache is trying very hard to take me. <clears throat> Should we uh, get away from the city? Yes, I think that will be good. The, the city was what was doing it to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. They have uh, divided the uh, area up into sections. The city is in one section, and there are sections outside, so if you can leave one and, and ex enter the other, it should help. Is that what it is? Mm. <clears throat> the transition sometimes can be a little uh, headachey. <sighs> Beautiful spot. So, how was your trip? Better than in the open. But you can say it, it, it bared fruit. Mm -hmm. We've we've successfully managed to to make contacts in both those cities. Ah, uh, wonderful. The uh, part of the deal, though, is they they don't wish to be seen. Hmm. I suppose that works. I don't normally do deals with the uh, people I can't see face to face. Sorry, this is a head. I'll stand on this side yeah. of you. Yeah. Yes, maybe looking this way will be better. <clears throat> I don't know. Just... Man, these headaches are really bad today. I am sorry. This is not your fault. <laughs> Take me, did it? Oh. 
He's still here. Really mad. I, I thought, thought the war was gonna take me. Not the war. This is Thank you all so very much. Trying times. But we have dream. <laughs> anyway, it seems very saying. frustrating. Yes, go ahead. It, it is. It is. It's making it hard to get my thoughts together. Um, <laughs> we've made the connections, though they wish not to be seen. They will leave any information in dead drop locations. Understood. They are probably marked with thieves, can't I assume? No? Leave so, but I will double check with, with them once you give me an idea of what information you might wish for them to gather. Mm. They're in uh, Belerno and uh, the other one whose name I keep fucking forgetting, Korokade? Cor no, that's the tech capital. Belerno and the other one. Corano. There you go. Um, yeah, right now we are uh, focusing our efforts on the uh, guards of Notis. So if they happen to see them, uh, you know, out of the city, wearing their uh, guard out of Notis colors, doing anything suspicious, that's what the network is focusing on currently. Indeed, we will have the eyes and ears set up looking for those things. Very good. Is there anything else you wish to look into? Uh, if you hear any whispers of anything called Dread Knives or something of those sorts, they're also important that it gets back to me quickly and quietly. Understood. Aside from that, not much. Again, mainly focusing on the guards. Winds are changing in Notice. Hmm. Well, hopefully in, in our favor, then. <laughs> if I give it the right push, it will be. I think everyone will benefit from this. Like I said, I will double check how they want to do those dead drops and we can get you the better information on that. Uh, but I can tell you this much, they are very reliable. I trust you. I will let them know to start looking into the information you have given. Very good. I you want looked into. assume you will be uh, my liaison between them. At least when it comes to any disseminating information, and most likely I will also be using dead drops. But if they have anything that is super important, they might give it to me. We'll just have to see how this works sure. as we go. We'll figure it out. They want to be just about as secretive as we are. Well, I have to respect that at least. Very good. Anything else today, Kazimir? Nothing else on anything important besides the standard rumors that you might hear any normal citizen talking about. Sure. Of course. All right, then. I have a busy the, day ahead. I the, could... the biggest thing of the mm -hmm. citizenry has been talking about, you'll hear others talk about it. Apparently, they killed... One of the Arlandi uh, deserters. Who did they kill? Up in the keep. Don't know who exactly, just one of them. Hmm. Strange. Well, Arlandis, but they don't belong here anyway. Agreed. So they did, they were good for coin back <laughs> when I went up there for for business. I'm sure they were. Nothing better to do than to gamble and lose. Hmm. Well, if that well, is over, I'll leave you to it. Got some things I need to take care of. I wish you luck in whatever else you are working on. <laughs> Always a pleasure, Casimir. Get some rest, no? You look tired. Get back into town. I think I might go nap for a while. <laughs> yeah, see you later.
poor Casimir. Fucking hell. <sighs> All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Get the flight amount of there. Go like that. <sighs> okay, that's fine, that's fine. We're all good now. Just minor cuts and stuff. That's nothing to worry about. Son of a bitch. There we go. Oh! Hi! You normally talk to yourself like this? All the time. You see Miss Basil today? Don't you? Uh, I did not see Basil yet, but there was another one around. Another one? Yeah, another girl. She's in the peach dress. I think if you just knock on the door and call for somebody, she'll show up again. She's just washing some sheets. Sure. If you do happen to see Basil, let her know that uh, someone's looking for her. Hmm? Uh, can you specify who someone is? Because every time that happens, she ends up getting beat up, or a lady of hers gets beat up, or the thugs come after her. Which of those are you? None of them. I'm a friend. All right. A friend is looking for you in a mysterious <clears throat> dark outfit. Sure, no, that, that works fine. Thank you, Miss Torty. Did I introduce... Okay, just, I will say that. We absolutely does. <laughs> Steps, come on. We have you. I'm right here. I have nothing to hurt you, I promise.
Oh Ooh, it's Basil. I'm coming to pick up that cream. If you wouldn't mind. Uh, Just, give Can you make sure she's okay? I know. Mm. Come follow us, Miss Lottie. I'll get you that cream. I have to go mm -hmm. into that room anyways. Terrible business. The mercenaries told me that they don't want to be in guard business. I see. Sorry. So, there. It's okay. Come on, Lily. Get you up those stairs. Have you checked on her yet? I have. Just trying to keep myself composed is all. <clears throat> what do you propose you would like to do about it? That's my business. Right. Don't get yourself killed. Too many people look up to you. I understand that. <laughs> I understand that very fully. One only knows that anger is the first step to something worse. A good thing that I am a patient man to have such said knowledge. And to at least have that will. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is nothing. At first. Easy to say that. Do you know who did this to her? Why do you ask? Uh, vested interest. <clears throat> I don't know who you may be. We've only probably seen each other once or twice, but I do know for certain that you've talked with Basil a little bit here and there. Especially helped her out with a few things, I've heard. <sighs> right now, stuff like this, like I said, it's just my business. Fair enough. If that can be respected. I will not push. All I'm having to make sure is that she's safe and she's all right. On that weekend, there is to it.
busy. Give me uh, ten minutes. Hmm? A few moments. <clears throat> is she okay? If you look into the room, you will see that the carpet is covered in blood, red hair, strands everywhere. did that to her last night while I was trying to comfort Vladia and Soma about the lost friend of theirs. <laughs> they pulled her into the bath. <laughs> she remembers every single bit. They cut her hair. She thought she was going to die. They broke her nose, her ribs. She doesn't even know how long she was sitting here until I came in. And the guards taunted me with that. They came up to me and said, Miss Basil, have you gone to the bathhouse yet? Is this retaliation for something? These were names I was going... They bumped into Lily on the street. And even though I don't consider her property, my name is on her papers. And so I had to play the angry slave owner. And apparently, this is what happens. I'm sorry, I was not around. This isn't even the first time that they keep hurting her. This is all the Capitano's fault. I... Do you have names? I have one. But I can't. I, I have someone that I want to tell someone first. I'm going to tell you anyways. What's the matter? Right. He's one of three brothers. It's one of the names that I remember. His name's Salam. Salam? I know it's a dumb name, isn't it? Does he have a rank? They all look like they're lower ranks than Marco, if that helps. Right. Um, speaking of Marco. Yes, that's uh, the original reason I'm here, actually. You have something you want to tell me? I want to know, is, is he alive? I heard from someone that um, a few guards were killed. I wanted to make sure that he really wasn't one of those. Would you hear that from? I know you said you would only hurt him, but... Someone who uh, helped me take care of Miss Lily. Someone trustworthy? I think so. I had uh, companions of mine pay a visit to him. Marco. Apparently they had a nice uh, long talk was not pretty, but he seems to be on the score now, at least. He 
he understand things a bit more clearly. Not very impressed with his bravery, though. He's not a coward, but if you give him enough push... You were right. I would like to uh, meet him personally, face to face, at some point, once things die down a little bit, to ensure him well, that we were good people. Well, mostly. But he is alive. Sorry, I'm just I'm so all over the place with this. This is the third time that they've done this to her. Hmm. I... The... The Weaver found her getting beat in the middle of the streets at night. Brought her into the clinic. Then... She got shoved over. And then... They hurt her so bad she was bleeding from her leg. And now this. All over me trying to stick up for her. These guards are cowards. They will be done with, don't worry. They are, because if they wanted to do something properly, they shouldn't have come directly to me, but they knew this was going to hurt me so much more. I hate to think of it that way, but this should have been me. But to see her constantly get hurt like this... I can't do anything. And they told me that I'm selfish, these guards, because they came in this morning. Because I lock my doors. When you know what room that is up there, of course I'm going to lock the doors. There's precious things in there. But it doesn't mean that the girls aren't precious either. Pieces are in motion. Things are in play right now. It will be resolved eventually. We have openings and we're going to use them. We're going to deal with the Capitano and we will remove the rot that is the guards of Nautis. I don't know how long it's it will not, take. I it's not Salam, it's Salim. Salim. I'm, I'm all over the place. I understand, yeah. Miss Bezo. It'll be dealt with, don't worry. Just do your best to keep them safe for now. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm going to try. Okay, if you know, right? I am. Um... <laughs> I feel so naked without all my stuff. I think you still look fine, at least. <laughs> the, uh... uh... Your friend, Marco, helped my companions up with something, and there was a bit of profit from it. I thought about paying him, but he's a bit of a scumbag. So I figure perhaps his profits could go to you instead. And the lily. Oh. That would help so much. There's five silver. <laughs> we can slowly buy her freedom this way. How much would it take? I don't want her to be a slave anymore. Oh, I 
I believe I bought her between 50 and 70 silver. You're well on your way. I'm a start. <laughs> look after it. Look after her and look after yourself, okay? I will. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. We'll handle it, okay? Yeah. Good luck today. Let me know if you need yeah. me. I will. Close to you know that it's true. You could be a man, you could be a monster, but through it all you have resolved to remain true. Technically speaking, Torty is a type of cat. A Torty cat is a, like a calico cat, but more dark, apparently. So like you. Yeah, good day. <laughs> 